Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Blitz Brigade where today we are going to be taking a look at the Zeus's Razor Premium in an honest attempt fashion. This one has been a long time coming and it's finally happening. So let's take a look at this thing. It's got 525 damage, rate of fire of 50, critical... Wow, I haven't had to speak before now today. This is my first time opening my mouth this morning. Uh, ammo is 5 times 15 and uh, the special ability of it is it's a, it's a laser. The thing is a laser. I think that's pretty special. It's strange that they omit that. I've got the Barrel of Shame equipped. Let's just jump into a game. Okay, and I do have it equipped on the Medic right now because I have a huge thing for the Medic at the moment. It's The speed is so good. Where, where did I get shot from? Oh, right in front of me. Jude the Dude shot me. I like your name if you happen to be watching this video. Whoa, okay. I spawned into that. That's nice. Glad to see that. You know, uh, before we get too deep into this review and the serious time comes in, has anybody played Odin Sphere Life Perseer on the Vita or the PS4? Uh, Odin Sphere, I think, originally was on the PS2, but I didn't have one. It's really good. That's the extent of that point. I won't be bringing it up again this entire video, I promise. However, I have been playing a lot of it as of last night because it came out today, but there was a launch for it last night. Anyway, guys, so back into the game. Hope you're all doing really well this morning. I know that I'm having a good time playing Blitz Brigade. I'm into lasers right now because in Overwatch I play Zarya on occasion. Uh, I've chosen to forego the controller today mostly because when you have to track somebody with an with something with no bullet spread, it does make it a little more difficult when you uh, when you're just like not precise. I, I'm using a lot more words than I should be to say when you're not as precise. It's easier to track on a touchscreen, though I'm noticing that this guy does have a fair amount of auto-aim on it, which is interesting. Oh my, you blended into that corner awfully well. Are you, like, made of bricks? This guy might have a career as a wall. This is easy. Easy. Don't get cocky. Don't get cocky. Where did he go? Did anybody see him? I see him over there now. Let me use another invincibility time. This is going to be so awkward. Can we, like, get at least one kill out of this whole encounter? This whole thing has been so awkward. Oh, my God, that's going on the Internet. Oh, my God, I didn't get a single kill. And it's everybody... So many people are going to see that. Okay, well, at least I didn't die. I think it would have been even more embarrassing if I freaking danced, waltzed around that box for an hour and then got killed at the end. So this gentleman is over here now. Let's go see if I can take care of that. So right away... We should just take a look at that reload animation. Uh, you actually reload the little coils on the bottom. It's actually like a some coiled wire. I never noticed that. It's okay. It's a little underwhelming, but honestly, the weapon is so unique that it doesn't really need a crazy reload animation. What? Did this guy just strategically jump through the holes in the roof? That was so freaking clutch. That was pretty good. Good job, dude. You, you rock, I guess. Oh, no! I was the last kill, I think. Technically. Alright, let's do another game. You know what game I was thinking about today? Call of Champions. Do you guys remember when I did that little series on Call of Champions for a minute? I didn't continue it just because not a lot of people seem to watch it. So if you saw it, awesome. Thank you for watching because I really enjoyed that one. But, you know, I just kind of... I started focusing more on Blitz Brigade because that's what, that's what everybody wanted to see. I want to see Blitz Brigade rather than uh, the occasional game that would pop up on the App Store. Ah, uh, I need to get better with aiming with this thing. I'll figure it out. I'll do some... I'll, I'll conduct science. I'll conduct some science during this episode. We got time for it. But I got the craving for a MOBA just a second ago. And I remembered Call of Champions. Also, Vainglory. The thing is that Vainglory takes like half an hour. <laughs> it's like so long. It's such a huge investment. Like, Vainglory is this is another one of those slayers of battery life. You really gotta, tr man, you really gotta track people with this. So if you have a controller, although I do love me some controllers, you should uh, probably just uh, forego it this time around. Just wanted to make sure I got out of there alive. I'm using, I'm using quite a few more invincibility tonics than I normally do. I know that some people don't like that. Oops, not enough diamonds for my purchase. Easy there, I'm not trying to purchase something. <laughs> Easy. Whoa. Can I hit this guy? Wow, quite the range on this thing, actually. I didn't expect it to have... To have that good of range. It's a little different trying to aim with this thing compared to weapons that use bullets. 
I'm telling you, lasers are unique. Lasers are pretty cool. Nebula's got it. Zeus's razor's got it. All the cool dudes have it. What else has got it? Is there anything else that fires lasers? I don't. I don't think so. I, nothing's coming to my. Nothing's popping up in my head. Maybe it's just because those two are prominent. Or maybe I should try like tapping, tapping this. <laughs> That'd be so funny if this la this weapon that fires a straight laser is a is a tap weapon. That would be hilarious. So we'll give it a try. We'll give it a try as soon as I find somebody. <laughs> I also have the poacher equipped at the moment, however, I haven't done a- I was almost thinking about doing a double honest attempt- Oh my gosh, I thought that- for some reason I thought that was a friendly- Doesn't matter what I was thinking, it happened. But I was thinking about doing a double review- Am I really- did I really fall into this again? I was thinking about doing a double review of the Zeus's Razor, accompanied by the poacher. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do one more game with the Zeus's Razor before I issue it a score. This is kind of a- it's an interesting weapon. It's an interesting weapon. I honestly don't know what I would rate it at this point, so I'm gonna need at least another five more minutes with the thing before I can settle on a score. It kills quick. It kills really quickly. The only issue that I'm seeming to have is, uh, is tracking my target. But I know that I am... My thumbs are not the most dexterous among us. Can I, like, throw a grenade? Uh, tch, man, I don't think I've ever seen a grenade be useful in this game, so I'm just not going to. I gave it an- I gave it an honest attempt! That's- that's all I'm gonna say on the matter. Should do an honest attempt on grenades or vehicles or something, that might be fun. I was gonna do an honest attempt on vehicles way back in the day, but that was before, uh, the new spawning system, so now it'd be kind of expensive to do a single episode of an honest attempt. Just reload, just- just reload, please. Oh wow, when this thing when it's tapped, wow, okay, so if you can, if you can, freaking go for it. Tap that son of a gun. If you think you are in a good enough position and that they are slow enough that you can like successfully tap the weapon, then by all means do it. It kills very quickly. Where did this guy go? He seemed to like have a place to be. That guy was booking it. Oops, oops, oops. I don't want to fight that demolisher. I do not want to fight that demolisher. But, however, I will be throwing some grenades over there. I don't know. I really want grenades to be useful. However, I don't think they ever will be. Man, do you guys remember the lore hunting series? I like that series a lot. I just ran into that propaganda poster and I started thinking about it. Oh, you're gonna eventually stand still, aren't you? Dang it, you son of a Q27 predator. Wow, there we go, another example of the tapping. Oh my gosh, was that like 800 damage in a headshot? That was ridiculous! Okay, so we're sitting at a fine minute and 50 seconds left in the game. I think I'm ready to give this thing a score. It's gonna be getting 8 out of 9 Fulgors. This thing is so good! If you don't already have a premium, I recommend getting it premium. The only reason that I'm not giving it 9 out of 9 is just because it doesn't have enough ammo in the clip frankly, like, to, uh, to compete with demolishers. It seems like demolishers are kind of like the, the tippity top that I compare most things to. It's just because they're so prevalent right now in, in the game. So if it can't compete with splash damage, how well a weapon can deal with that and dish out damage in comparison to splash damage? That's kind of what the grading scale is based on at the moment. But, uh, it's just the, it's just the clip size that hinders this thing. Five rounds, five taps is not is not too much. Wow, that's so much damage in a headshot. I can't even believe that. It'd be so nice if it could have 10. Although then you'd borderline into the OP nature, you know? So if you could level it up through skill tree or if, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Or if we could compromise, we could make it like seven. We could make it seven rounds in the clip or eight in the clip. I think that would make, I that would push the gun into the, into the realm of the nine out of nine Volgors. Oops, oops, I can't believe that guy didn't capitalize on that on kill and kill me. I was like, I am standing so still. There we go. Things are looking good with this gun. If you don't already have it, I'd really recommend getting it. The only the only thing that I might recommend is uh, you may want to do... It wouldn't be awful on Soldier. <laughs> the speed on Medic is just so valuable, but... 
but if you put it on the soldier for the faster reload, that'd be, that's also a very, very wise decision. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Blitz Brigade. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back with some more honest attempts soon. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.